the guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to the last day of this series called navrangi navratri so the color for today is pink let us begin with today's look so firstly i'm moisturizing my skin using the cetaphil lotion it is a very very hydrating and moisturizing lotion and with this i will start with my eye makeup doing my eyebrows first i'm using the pack brow pomade as usual it is my favorite and i will fill in my eyebrows and then brush the eyebrow hair with a spoolie so that they stay in place then i will use this concealer to carve out my eyebrows and then i will apply the same concealer on my eyelid and i will blend all of it properly this will help to uh, cut the pigmentation on my eyelid and then starting with my eye shadow i have run a very 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 light pink shade as my transition and it is not visible at all so i will just deepen it up using a more brighter pink and i'm applying it on my crease and then i will take it a slight bit upwards to give that transition and then i will take a darker color pink and i will concentrate it more on my crease and i will also apply it a little bit all over my lids just to give a base to the glitter so that the glitter underneath the glitter it is not bare skin and then i will apply this glitter glue this is from i magic light chili way yeah <laughs> so yeah it is back so okay i'm applying this glitter glue on both of my eyes in the cut crease shape and then i will place this pressed glitter from the delancey palette first in the inner corners i'm placing a silver glitter and to blend both the colors together i will place a little bit of pink glitter and you can see it ties the look together with for my base makeup i'm starting with a uh, my glam pore minimizing primer and i'm applying it to the entire t-zone of my face to keep the oil in control and then i will go in with this lacme foundation you know it's my favorite and gives a skin like finish a very very easily blendable foundation so i will blend it using a damn beauty blender all through my skin and uh, while i do that please guys go down and hit that red subscribe button we are so so close to hit 500 please help me uh, reach that goal i'll be really really thankful uh, so that being done i will go in with the concealer under my eyes around my mouth and on my acne scars to cut out all the pigmentation and i will blend this also with a damn beauty blender in dabbing motions <music> now i will also highlight my under eyes and for that i'm using a light shade concealer from elf and i will apply it slightly little bit lower from my eye under eyes and then i will blend it using a damn beauty blender now to set it all in place i will use the my glam pose hd setting powder and i will apply it under my eyes and with the larger powder brush i will set my entire face so that there is no creasing then i will take the wet and wild contouring palette and the contour shade i will use to carve out my cheekbones it gives a very very structured look i will also contour my nose and my jawline then i will take the cape play blush in strawberry variant it is very very pretty the perfect pink blush for this look and i have applied it uh, towards my uh, cheekbone and also on my apple of the cheek so that it gives me a more chubby chubby look that i already am and with that i have also done my under eyes i have applied the lighter pink color and now i'm taking the chambord kajal pencil and i'm applying it as an eyeliner so that i can smudge out the outer corners because with this look these darker black outer corners just give the eye look a character and i am going to do the same to my other eye as well and i will blend it using a very very precise brush just keeping it very much towards the outer end applied fake lashes off camera now i'm topping it up with mascara i've used this l'oreal lash paradise mascara and i'm applying it to the under eye lashes as well now i'm setting my base using this setting spray from forever 52 i've not directly sprayed it rather using it with a beauty sponge it helps to melt all the powders together really well now is the time for highlighter i will highlight all the high points of my face using the sugar highlighter it is very very pretty and it has pink reflex and for lipstick i'm using it from my glam lit creamy matte lipstick in the shade pink daiquiri and then i'll top it up with this sugar plum yum almost the same shade just liquid so it will increase the longevity and also add that pop of peach color to my lips 
and the look is complete let me know in the comment box below how you like this look and the series in general check out the other videos of my channel i promise you're gonna love it i'll see you super super soon bye